going on everybody getting ready to start our 2023 bowman draft break i'm gonna drop in the uh ebay sweepstakes information to start things off let's see greg let me check if any there's anything unpaid in this one Let's see, we have Brock Roden unpaid for. If anybody is interested in picking up Brock Roden, he went for $750, which seems pretty fair to me. So if anybody wants to pick up a spot, we have Roden available for $750. And then we also have the leftover stuff, which – actually, let me double-check that. I want to make sure I got everything in the in that lot. Did not. So we have the leftover first lot is Nine total spots for twelve fifty. It's Cam Domenacci, Coleman Picard, Dylan Questad, uh, Emmett Olson, Isaiah Coupet, Jack Mahoney, Lucas Gordon, Sean Sullivan, and Seth Keener are leftover firsts. And then our leftover non-firsts we have. Five spots for $5. Ariel Castro, Davison Gutierrez, Marion Boyd, Jonathan Mejia, and Kiner Delgado. A couple guys who are available for the first time there. Uh, so 
non first slot, five players for five dollars. Leftover first slot, nine spots for twelve fifty. And uh, let's get picking with our boxes as well. So we have two super jumbos, two jumbos. So nothing to choose from out of the super jumbos. We're gonna open. I mean, out of the jumbos, we're gonna open both of these. But let me know if we want to go top one or bottom two on the super jumbos. Caroline, how are you? Caroline, jumping in, grabbing first. Chris Gall on the bottom, and Caroline with the first four. And you could just send twelve fifty for that one, Caroline. No worry about no worries about shipping there for you. All right, and we are ready to get started. Oh, also Brock Roden available as well if anybody's interested who just joined. Brock Roden available for seven fifty, and the non first lot available for five dollars for five players Ariel Castro, Davison Gutierrez, Marion Boyd, Jonathan Mejia, and Kiner Delgado. Um, let me know in the chat if we want to go with the super or the jumbo, one of the two jumbos first. Meb grabbing a rodent. Meb, you got that. Let me just cancel the rodent spot on eBay. All right, the Roden spot is all cleared for you, Meb. And everybody's saying, let's go super first. That's what we'll do then. So Meb grabbing the Roden spot for seven fifty, and we are ready to get underway. All right, let's get it started with the super. It is Wyatt Langford week for uh, for this product. Wyatt Langford, the third player ever. Uh, Caroline, thanks for sending the payment over. Um, Wyatt Langford, the third player ever, um, called up to start opening day the year after he was drafted. I don't know if anybody else watched the first game of the season where they showed that graphic. But uh, did anybody else catch who the other two, um, the other two players to get called up the year that after they were drafted were? I believe both of them were in either of the early '90s or late to, mid to late '80s. What's going on, Richard? How are you? We are just starting things off here. Richard, look, we're looking for some Colt Keiths. Colt Keith seeing Major League action for the first time. He is in the list of players who, that I made who are in the majors for the first time on opening day with no Major League experience. Let me see. I, I should drop it into the Facebook group also, but zero Major League experience, guys. Victor Scott, Landon Raup, Jared Jones, Caden McClure, Nick Nestrini, the ex-Dodger prospect, Jordan Leisure, Nazem Nunez, who I didn't even realize got traded to the Nats, Langford, Austin Shenton, Ryan Fernandez, Nick Avila, Jung Hu Lee, Stephen Kolick, Yuki Matsui, Graham Pauly, Jackson Merrill, Smith, Mitch Spencer, Daryl Arnaiaz, Clayton Beater for the Yankees, pitching out of the pen, Churio, Yamamoto, Matt Sauer, Colt Keith, Anthony Molina, Cade Smith, Shota uh, Imanaga, Justin Slayton, and Blaze Alexander. Uh, and, of course, we can add to that Troy Lipscomb now, not on the opening day roster, as I learned in the previous break, but did get called up to the majors after an injury to play the second game of the season. All right. We are underway in this one, opening up our Super. And we have that super jumbo box empty and ready to pull. 
Brian, you are correct. One of them was John Olerud, my favorite player as a kid in that in that Met batting helmet in the field. Richard saying, yeah, he's a killer. If you pull anything numbered, you're in the money and ending a long dry streak. He's, he's a tough one in this product. Let's see what we can do. Let's see some 4-0 undefeated Pirates, says Daryl. See if uh, if the Pirates can go on a run that makes them want to call up Skeens. We have a refractor pack here. I see uh, a fuchsia lunar crater in the back there. No color in the paper. Jack Mahoney starting things off. Connor O'Halloran, Cade Morris, Jason Savakul, Jake Cunningham, Jet Williams, Eric Batoni, Brian Acuna, Colton Ledbetter, our first first rounder on the board, Marcelo, Garrett Bauman, Landon Mardo, Austin Trozier, Jackson Wiggins, Wyatt Crowell, Kiefer Lord, Cade Denton, Rock Riggio, I realized I was pronouncing his name wrong ever since this product was released. I've been saying Rigo, totally missed that second I. Rock Riggio, Christian Vaccaro, Joe Redfield, Johnny Farmello on the glass insert. And our first refractor is going to that leftover first spot. So Caroline is our first person to get on the board tonight with a refractor with the Seth Keener. Uh, Fuchsia, uh, not Fuchsia. Yeah, Fuchsia Lunar Crater. Let's go right to actually, you know what? Let's go, let's go with another bottom pack here before we go to our first auto. Let's see, we have Looks like an Invicta in the back, so we may have a numbered Invicta or a numbered glass insert. We have a Jacob Wilson. Chrome on the board. Hunter Owen, Marcus Brown, Levi Wells, Christian Napsik. Colson Montgomery, Jace Boroffen, Jacob Cravy, Xander Muth, Jason Woodward, Andrew Pinckney, Termar Johnson, Brandon Winnaker, Davison De Los Santos, Ty Floyd, another first rounder on the board, Samuel Basalo, Enrique Bradfield Jr., Brando Maella, Rhett Louder, getting some good names on the board, it looks like. What color is that going to be? Maybe a gold? Glass card coming up behind the Isaiah Coupette and the Max Clark Draft Night. It is another Johnny Farmello glass, but this one is gold. Number 39 of 50 on the Farmello glass refractor. So nice nice hit for a nice name there. Farmello, I'm going to have to uh, go to my closet later and grab two thicker top loaders. We hit a Farmello. We hit that Farmello, and in the last break, we hit an Invicta Auto. Refractor number to 99 of Colson Montgomery. So, turning the lights out. Get some nice names on the board there, including Bradfield, Basalo, Floyd, Winnaker, and Jacob Wilson. And let's see some autographs. Let's see. Anybody get to uh, opening day or any games in the first series? I, uh, I'm thinking I should try and get get to a Mets game before they are too far out of it this year. I think they lost every game I went to in the last two seasons. So we'll see if in the worst season in the last two they can uh, change that luck. We have a sky blue Alberto Rios paper refractor, number 131 of 499 for the ex Stanford now Angels player. Brady House, Kendall George, first rounder for the Dodgers, Yankeel Fernandez, 
Sean Sullivan, Coleman Picard, Cade Culler, Andrew Lindsay, AJ Ewing, James Wood, Cooper Engel, Lazaro Montes getting into the refractors. We have a double Kendall George pack, Yankee Fernandez, Sean Sullivan, Coleman Picard, Cade Culler, Andrew Lindsay, AJ Ewing, James Wood. And our first auto is going to be a purple auto. Looks like maybe a, uh, a Ray. Nope. Blue Jay. Landon Mardot. Mardot is 244 of 250 on the purple auto. Rhett Lauder and Chase Davis inserts. <laughs> Chris saying he's antisocial and would rather watch on TV. Chris, I, uh, I'm right there with you on the rather watching on TV thing. Catch more games that way. I'm not, I'm not ready to pay for MLB TV and, uh, and watch games in the park. Anybody have uh, NC State making the final four in their brackets? I think Purdue is my bracket buster more than anything. I did not have Purdue going as far as they're going right now, which is clearly a mistake with how dominant they are. Leave up our Landon Mardo purple auto. A little purple on Blue Jays blue. And the Alberto Rios sky blue paper. And let's see our second auto. So one auto out so far in purple. Two refractors out so far, as well as the... Uh, the third refractor, the gold glass, two pitchers, and the Farmello. No color in the paper in this auto pack. We have a Ty Pete, Luis Almeida, Colin Houck, Welbin Francisa, Jack Hurley, Jackson Churio, Sabin Sabalos, Justin Crawford, Justin Reimer, Elijah Green, Joe Vetrano, Refractors of Cooper Ingle, Lazaro Montes, Andrew Pinckney, Tamar Johnson, Brandon Winokur, Davison De Los Santos, back with the D-backs, Ty Floyd, Samuel Basalo. Our next auto is a nice one. Noble Meyer base auto, James Wood, and Ethan Salas Refractors. I heard Arm Layton saying some pretty ridiculous things about Noble Meyer stuff. I heard he is looking very good in camp so far. Well, I guess camp's over, and it'll soon be the soon be in the minor leagues. Let's see, Chris saying better view. Richard saying I get MLB TV Friday. Got MLB TV Friday, and it's pretty sweet. And your Tigers are kicking ass. I actually bet on them on Saturday. So I was happy to see them pull out that uh, extra innings win. I was surprised that they were not favorites once it got late in that game, even though they were on the road. Chorio, Hauk, and Ty Pete. And let's get back to a regular refractor pack. We'll take a little break from autos. Head to the head to a bottom pack. See what kind of color we can hit in this one. Looks like is that going to be another insert refractor? Devin Saltabon. William Bergola, Carson Rockefort, Brooks Lee, Nazan Zanatello, Drew Gilbert, Max Anderson, Ariel Castro, Matt Shaw on the board for the first time, Felman Celestin, Camden Menachi, Tommy Troy on the board for the first time, Colt Emerson behind the Tanner Hall. Yep. Colt Emerson on the board for the first time, Kiner Delgado, 
Mike Bove, Jackson Holiday, Nolan McLean, Spencer Jones, Dylan Campbell. We have, oh, we have a missing refractor. I finally got my uh, missing hits in from the last time we uh, we missed a hit. Got those shipped out last week. Chris was one of the guys who hit one of those cards, and now we have another missing refractor. So let me uh, note on the inside of this box that we have a missing refractor in this one, and I will be sending in another request to Tops for uh, a missing refractor hit. The last time they actually sent me something that was worth sending out, it was a uh, a Rhett Louder Fuchsia Lunar Crater, and that one, like I said, went out to uh, to Chris Kudla. So Chris. A month and a half after the after the break ended, getting a a little bonus surprise in the mail. First time I think in the maybe five or six times that I've had to send in for uh, missing hit replacements that Tops has actually sent me something worth the price of shipping. Uh, for everybody, we have the note that the miss there was a missing refractor in the 331 break. So I will get on getting the replacement for that from Tops. We got a, me a lot of messages to catch up on. We'll go auto pack next. Let's see. Um, Chris saying Yankees loving. The Yankees sweeping the Astros. Yeah, I got. I, I can even. I can even like that after uh, some nice revenge after the last few seasons. Can't hate that. Richard saying the Yankee that Yankees game last night was epic. Richard, the young guys laying it down. Soto being Soto. I saw. I saw some nice stuff from Cabrera. I mentioned that in the last break. Like to see that. Oswaldo Cabrera doing some stuff. Jack Weniger, Amarian Boyd. There's a Brock Roden for Meb. Kevin Parada, Spencer Nivens, Josue DePaula, Homer Bush Jr., Xavier Isaac, Drew Hackenberg, Grayson Hitt, Jerron Watts Brown going into the refractors. We have a Colt Emerson refractor. Kiner Delgado, Mike Bove, Jackson Holiday, Nolan McLean, Spencer Jones. Dylan Campbell getting up to our next auto. It's going to be a base behind the Brady house. Johnny Farmello having a night. Farmello with the gold glass now getting a base auto to add to that. Matt Shaw, Drew Jones getting uh, inserts behind that. But that's back-to-back -back breaks now with a Johnny Farmello auto. We had a purple last break and now a base auto of Farmello to add to his gold glass that we already hit of him tonight. So double Farmello night. Lots to sleeve up from this one. Then I'll catch up with the rest of the me messages in the chat. Dylan Campbell, Spencer Jones, Nolan McLean, and Mike Bove refractors. Then base of Homer Bush and Brock Roden. And we'll get top loaders on those refractors of Colt Emerson and Jackson Holiday. We'll see how long the Orioles can keep Jackson Holiday in the minors. If he keeps doing things like that bomb of a home run that he hit in his first at bat in the minors this season after an impressive spring. Let's see. Just picked up a base and refractor auto of Noble the other day, says Chris. This was... Uh, was the refractor auto of Noble the teal auto that was on eBay in an auction? Because uh, if if that was the case, me and you might have been bidding each other up on that one. I uh, I just lost out on the on the teal Noble auto that ended on eBay. I want to say it was Friday or Saturday. 
The Brett ladder was looking good. Yeah, that is the that is one thing. When Top sends a replacement, it is it is usually in really good condition. Since I guess uh, they they better be inspecting the stuff that they're sending out in those uh, in those situations. We got a Tommy Hawk, Samuel Munoz, Paul Wilson, Conley Early, Brady Smith, T.J. Nichols, Cole Foster, Jacob Berry, Mac Horvath, How You Lee, Cole Schoenwetter, Maui Ahuna, Jackson Merrill. Hunter Holland, Jaden Ham, Jack Weniger, Marion Boyd, another Brock Roden, Kevin Parada, and Spencer Nivens. And we have a purple. Okay, there we go. That is what we want to see. Purple Wyatt Lankford, numbered 152 of 250. We saw a refractor of him last week, but this is our first color Wyatt in a few weeks. Let's take down the Mar. Actually, we'll... Switch that the Mardo and the Keener will keep up the Mardo. We'll move over the our, our double Farmello hits and we'll get that Wyatt Langford front and center. Purple Wyatt. So far, so good in the break. This one. Noble Meyer getting a, a base auto as well as Farmello and Wyatt Langford getting a purple refractor. Still have two autos to go in this box. This is gonna be uh Potentially one of our nicer super jumbos if we can pull out anything else decent out of this one. Cabrera tied two of those games. They won with home runs. Yeah, Cabrera looking really good. Uh, the Noble was of four ninety nine. All right, glad to hear that we weren't bidding each other up. We have. Uh, I, I would have felt bad if that was the case. Hero Wyatt, Chris Clark, Trey Morgan, Michael Arroyo. Brock Vradenberg, Gavin Cross, Luke Kieschel, Alfredo Duno, Jacob Gonzalez, Emmanuel Boyd, and Wyatt Langford is having a nice break. Base Chrome Wyatt Langford, Jack Hurley, Jackson Churio, Saban Sabalos, Justin Crawford, Justin Reimer, Elijah Green, Joe Vitrano, Garrett Bauman, Base Auto, Baumeister. Yep, I can see the hand. Baumeister, Base Auto. Jackson Holiday transformative talent. Oh, there is our no. That's just an extra insert. Jackson Holiday, draft picks and prospects, Spencer Jones and Paul Skeens. So none of those are numbered, right? Yeah, still missing a refractor hit. But they gave us an extra insert. I'm not willing to make that trade though. Lots to sleeve up from that one. Some nice refractors, including Jackson Churio and our Hokie of the Year, Jack Hurley. Base auto of Baumeister, Jacob Gonzalez and Trey Morgan, base chrome, and we'll get the top loader on the Wyatt Langford base chrome as well. So two Langfords on the board now. Base chrome and purple numbered to 250 non-auto. Let's see. Chris saying, holding on to my holiday PSA 10 until he gets to the majors. Don't blame me for that one at all. I'll get another Noble Myers better color auto. I'll, I'll lay off the Nobles for... Uh, for a week then and I'll let you I'll let you go for it Chris Jackson Churio is uh looked pretty good in the field as well in his first series All right, we have a Kemp Alderman, Ludwig Espinoza, Braden Taylor, and Ethan Salas, and Max Clark all on the board for the first time in Chrome. Carlson Reed, Connor Burns, Nelson Rada, Ethan O'Donnell, Dylan Questad, CJ Kaifas, Roderick Arias, Cam Fisher, Anthony Gutierrez, Chase Jaworski, Nathan Detmer, Jackson Baumeister, Carlos Jorge, Teddy McGraw, Philip Abner. We have... Another insert refractor. 
Braden Taylor and Rainer Arias is our insert refractor number to 250. 105 of 250 there for Rainer Arias. Let's top load our Max Clark. Salas and Braden Taylor, and then we will move on to our final auto of the Super Jumbo, final pack of the Super Jumbo, before we switch over to our Jumbos. <laughs> I, I'm glad to see I'm, I'm not the only person hunting as well, as long as we're not bidding each other. <laughs> Um, let's see, putting together a rather large PSA auto. I, I just got one back. I'm trying to get some of the stuff posted now. Um, we have a watermelon Homer Bush, another, a fuchsia aqua number to 199, 194 of 199 for Homer Bush, who was the 128th pick Samuel Zavala, Garrett Forrester. Mikey Romero, another Johnny Farmello, Rainer Arias, Paul Skeens for the first time, Cole Miller, Adrian Santana, Davison Gutierrez, Cole Carrig, Cam Collier, Enrique Bradfield Jr. with a refractor. Two hits for him now, Brando Maia, Rhett Lauder refractor, Isaiah Coupette, Ty Pete refractor, Luis Almeida, Colin Hauk refractor. We're going to get a refractor, don't be Grayson Hit. Don't be grace and hit again behind the Welbin Francisa. We have, ah, wasn't even a, a D back Hunter Holland, the fireballer Hunter Holland, getting a hit Rainer Arias and Blake Mitchell. So a pretty nice super jumbo there. Hunter Holland refractor auto added to the mix there added to the Landon Mardo purple. The Noble Meyer and Johnny Farmello base and the Wyatt Langford purple non auto. Let me sleeve up the hits from this one and we'll switch to our jumbos. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was that uh, Arm Layton was saying about Noble Meyer, but I remember that he said that he was speaking with a couple of the major leaguers in camp who faced uh, who faced Meyer and came by afterwards and were raving about his stuff. So he was saying from this, from the look and sound of things that uh, Meyer, Meyer looks like the real deal. I think he was also saying that his, uh, his baseball and non-baseball IQ seems very high. So those all sound like good things to me. All right, we have the jumbo finished. We're going to go to the the super jumbo finished. Going to go to the jumbos now. Um, Garrison saying, "Me too." Collect leaf. You have about 120 autos. Ooh, I got a I, the only leaf card I've bought in the last couple of years was a dual auto. Of, I think it was a snakeskin dual auto of Francisco Alvarez and Kevin Parada, number to five. And I actually sent that one to PSA, maybe a PC card for me, but that one 10. So I was excited about that. All right. Wow, the Thunder in first? Didn't realize the Thunder were that good. Chat making that big a difference? <laughs> Melon Homer for Meb. You got you had uh you had Homer tonight? 
Rhett Louder is going to be a stud for the Reds as well, says Chris. All right, I'm finally caught up with the chat. Sorry, sorry for the delay responding to anything. But let's keep things moving. Go to our jumbo. It's been crazy. I don't think I mentioned it yet in this break, but it is, of course, I ran out of my cases now. It has been so hard to get more Bowman draft. I have uh, the, the other super, so we'll be good with that for next week. And I already have an order in for that I made last Thursday for uh, two more jumbos. So we'll be good to go next Sunday. But every major uh, distributor is completely sold out of Bowman Draft. I was thinking of possibly doing a, a Sapphire mixer again. Can't find Sapphire anywhere. It's been absolutely crazy, the demand for this product that uh, some of these guys like Wyatt Langford have going right now. No color in the paper. We have a Cade Denton. We'll see how far into baseball season this uh, crazy increase in demand goes. Has anybody heard anything about why there's such a shortage I don't know if it's like a distribution thing with the way that Fanatics distributed the product this year, that there was less direct to distributors that's causing uh, this shortage and crazy price spike. We have a Jonah Cox, Kiefer Lord, Jason Chorio, Wyatt Crowell. We have a wave auto of Jackson Baumeister. So Baumeister having a night. Teal wave, number to 199. 68 of 199 for the 63rd overall pick for the Orioles. We have a Jackson Holiday auto, Matt, a Nolan McLean, and a James Wood insert. So off to a nice start there. We got an auto numbered to 199 to start this one off, and two Jackson Baumeister autos on the board tonight. So double Baumeister night. Top load the Jackson Holiday in, uh, refractor. Two Holiday refractors on the board now. Chisholm hit one for me the top home in the tops home run challenge today. Oh, does that mean you had the uh, his card from what was it? The tops, I guess it's called the tops home run challenge card. So you'll get a uh, a numbered card of Jazz Chisholm. That's pretty wild. I feel like Chisholm is not a crazy home run guy. So the fact that you get got that one right, you'll probably be uh, pretty low numbered on that on that print run. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Daryl. We have a sky blue Quinn McDaniel numbered through uh, 213 of 499. Zach Thornton. Do you have to wait until the end of the season to get that card or do they ship that when you hit? We have a Homer Bush Chrome, Seth Keener, Jose DePa uh, Jose DePaula. Patrick Riley, Spencer Nivens, Andrew Lindsay, AJ Ewing, and Braden Taller, draft night insert. Some nice cards coming out in the refractors to start this one off. McLean and AJ Ewing and Jackson Holiday. A couple Homer Bushes on the board for Meb now, and Quinn McDaniel getting a sky blue paper. One auto out. The other two, I'm guessing, are in those bottom left, left bottom two packs there. See if we can save that fun for the end of this box. There's our guy Grayson Hit, Christian Campbell, Cole Schoenwetter, Alex Ramirez, another Wyatt Langford. Three Wyatt Langfords on the board now. Board now we have a blue Lucas Gordon behind the Travis Honeyman a Davison De Los Santos, and a Ty Floyd refractor with a Colt Emerson insert. So three Wyatt Langfords, and I believe Lucas Gordon was also on the leftover first list. So we now have two hits, if I remember correctly, for Caroline and the leftover first lot, Lucas Gordon and Seth Keener refractors. Keeping things moving. We have a glass insert in the back. A 
Zach Levinson, Jackson Wiggins, Luis Angel Acuna, Austin Trozier, Christian Campbell, more Johnny Farmello, Spencer Jones, Dylan Campbell, and a Chase Davis glass. I don't know if I've ever seen the Chase Davis glass. I've said that a couple times now. I would have thought at this point I would have seen all of the uh, cards in that set, but I don't think I've seen the Chase Davis. Let's see. End of each month, they print and ship. Got it. Not sure how long it'll take to get the parallel. Probably get it in May or June. How uh, do those sell well? I don't think I've ever searched to see uh, what the pricing is on those. But I, I would guess a lot of guys PC that because that's a pretty fun story. I'm, I'm assuming if I ever hit one of those, I would PC it. We have a Joe Whitman, Kevin Parada, Wyatt Huddapole, Brock Roden again. We have a green Jacob Wilson. We have a Grant Taylor before that. That's the second green Jacob Wilson draft night we've hit, and I can't remember if, we, if we've hit any other draft night refractors. This one's 85 of 99. A little color match action there for Jacob Wilson. James Wood, Cooper Ingle, and Drew Jones insert. Jacob Wilson getting some green. I think it was one of the best hits of the break the last time we hit one. Tonight, that one's going to get outshined by a few hits that are on the board already. And we still have lots of lots of room to go in this one. See what we can add to the board tonight. Emmanuel Bonilla, another Noble Meyer, J uh, Jacob Gonzalez, Yoandre Vargas, Alfredo Duno, and another color insert that's our fourth insert refractor and this one's another gold glass nazan zanatello this time zanatello is 19 of 50 for the red sox prospect samuel basalo and enrique bradfield jr getting refractors and spencer jones a transformative talent so a loaded pack there once again continuing the nice break tonight and i'm gonna have to get two more Slightly larger than standard top loaders for this one with the Nazan Zanatello and the Johnny Farmello. I'll put these two next to each other. That would be a fun, that'd be a fun thing to make. And they're the two next to each other too. You can see they overlap. So uh, if Zanatello and Farmello are owned by the same guy tonight, they could start building the uh, the gold glass insert set. Hit a Schwarber with the power up. Cool card. Gave it to your nephew, says Meb. My God, Isaiah Joe had a ridiculous dunk today. No color paper in that one. We have a Landon Mardo base, Alex Ramirez, Rock Riggio, Ryan Clifford, Wyatt Crowell, another Fuchsia Lunar Crater, Termar Johnson this time, Brady House, another Kendall George Refractor, and Adrian Santana Transformative Talent. So we've seen a lot of guys getting multiple hits. I feel like we're sharing the wealth in terms of uh, the big names, but... Definitely seeing the same names come up a lot of times. Sleeve up the Tamar, number 147 of 199 on that Fuchsia Lunar Crater. And keeping it moving, five more packs in this first jumbo. <laughs> it's a very expensive insert set. Not as, as expensive as you go for the if you go for the oranges, though. 
We hit a uh, Jacob Wilson orange glass set at one point. That would be a very expensive glass set. Very exclusive glass set. We have an Amarian Boyd, Ryan Clifford, Jack Wenninger, Jonah Cox, Jaden Ham, Jay, uh, Jason Churio, refractors of Lazaro Montes and Andrew Pinckney. No inserts in the back. Is that how those usually go? Why, why do I feel like there's usually an insert in the back of that? I feel like at some point I need to try and create the entire glass set. We have a sky blue chrome coming up here. Bryce Eldridge. I haven't said his name many times tonight. Chase Davis. I've only said his name once tonight in, uh, I think it was a glass insert. Luke Kieschel. Maybe we have a, a couple of inserts of him. Yasser Mercedes, Gavin Cross, Jace Young, and we had to do it. Another Grayson hit hit. Sky blue chrome for hit. Brando Maiea refractor. Rhett Louder refractor and a Paul Skeens insert. Rhett Louder, two refractors on the board now. Same refractors coming out. That's that's one of the things that it is. Same refractors in box number one and box number two tonight. And uh, there's some nice ones in there. So I definitely don't mind that being the case. Three more packs left. Two more autos left should be in these two packs. Save them for the end and see what we can add to our... Was the Hunter Holland? No. I forgot what the first auto was in this one. We have a Lunar. No, just a Sky Blue in here. Another Jonah Cox, Andrew Lindsay, Michael Carrico, Cade Culler, Drew Jones... Drew Hackenberg, Sky Blue this time, Yankeel Fernandez and Sean Sullivan and a Bryce Eldridge insert. Drew Hackenberg, Sky Blue, Chrome, non-numbered to add to that. Grayson Hit, Sky Blue, non-numbered. This pack looks thicker, but it might just be a little bit of an air bubble in there. Let's see what these two look like. We have... A class of 2023 auto first. So let's see what that is. Hunter Holland, Zach Levinson, Jackson Merrill, Luis Angel Acuna, Maui Ahuna, and class of 2023 is Bryce Eldridge. So Eldridge getting the base variation of the 20 class of 2023 auto. Just mentioned that I hadn't said his name many times, and there he goes getting ink. Tamar Johnson and Brandon Winnaker and a Tommy Troy transformative talent. Nice Eldridge hit there. Another big name on the board with an auto. So the first rounders we fit now in ink in this one. We have Eldridge, Farmello, Meyer, uh, and Hunter Holland's a second rounder, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, third rounder. And our final auto of the second jumbo or the first jumbo box is looks like it's going to be a base. So two base and a class of 2023, which I think they usually count as in their minds, a, num uh, a numbered hit, which seems silly to me considering they aren't numbered in their sticker autos. We have a Coleman Picard, Alberto Rios, Drew Hackenberg, Tayshawn Walton, Xavier Isaac, and that's a nice one. If it's going to be a base auto, why not a Paul Skeens? Coleman Picard, Cade Culler, and a Jackson Churio. Insert behind that, but we got the number one draft pick on the board in ink for the first time since we pulled his class of 2023 super fractor. Oh, let's get this in a notch sleeve since it doesn't want to go into that one. Paul Skeen's base auto on the board.
Good looking car. Let's see. Let's let's leave all far from up there. We'll just make space. So lots of first round ink on the board. Now we have Eldridge, Farmello, Skeens, and Meyer all getting ink in this one. Sleeve up our card and color and shift over the Churio. We'll do one more shift over of some cards, and then we'll be getting into our last box. One more, one more jumbo box to go. Whoa, Gunnar Henderson can play some defense, can he? Do we have any Orioles fans in the break? I feel like we – I can't remember a time when we had Orioles fans in the break. Daryl, I agree. Loving, loving that Skeens auto. It's a nice, nice autograph. All right, last box of the break. Been one of the nicer ones we've had in a while with all these nice names getting getting ink. Not a bad way to celebrate the start of the season. Got some nice ink in the first break of the night, too. None of the huge names, but Trace Sweeney got a refractor out. Roberto Campos and Colson Montgomery all getting ink in that one. So it's been a real nice night in terms of the uh, the right names, some of the right names hitting in autos. We have our open jumbo box there. Final box of the night is open. Justin Jones saying, you're a fan of the Orioles cards? Who, uh, do you have a PC guy? I, uh, I wanted to put a futures bet on the Orioles to win the World Series, and then two days later before I did it, they traded for Corbin Burns, and then I couldn't bring myself to uh, – take the new adjusted odds after missing out on making my move initially. We have a Brock Vradenberg, Quinn McDaniel, Michael Arroyo, Gabriel Gonzalez, Trey Morgan, and more first round ink to start off this one. Base Jacob Gonzalez auto, Isaiah Coupette and Ty Pete refractors and a Paul Skeens insert. Continuing the nice autos. That's a little tight. Let's go with the notched penny sleeve on that one, too. Jacob Gonzalez, Bryce Eldridge, Johnny Farmello, Paul Skeens, Noble Meyer, all with ink in this one. Gonzalez, Meyer, Skeens, and Farmello, all base. We'll take these two packs. We'll move them to the end of the break. Auto's looking like they're going to be in the same place in both boxes, and we will save that suspense for the end of the break. Chris saying they are fun to watch. That is the Orioles, I'm assuming. Let's see. I'm a fan of some of their players, but a Yankees fan, so going to be fun to watch those two teams play for sure. Chris, do you ever come down for Yankees games? I know you said you are uh, you like being antisocial and watching, uh, watching from home, but if you and Vin ever come down for a game, let me know. Jackson Baumeister, Luke Schlieger, Nathan Detmer. I live right on the six line, so it's an easy shot up to Yankee Stadium for me. Deanne Jorge, Chase Jaworski, Kevin Sim, Jackson Churio, and Sabin Sabalos Refractors, Jacob Gonzalez, insert. I think this is this, a similar coalition of refractors that we saw in the first box also, so... We may be getting a lot of refractors of some nice names. Chris, if the Mets keep playing as poorly as they've been playing, I might become more of a fan of the game than uh, than the Mets myself. So I don't I don't blame you on that one. Dernish Valdez, 
CJ Kaifus, Bryce Eldridge. We'll get a little different co- uh, collation there. First, Bryce Eldridge base chrome, Cam Collier, Christopher Torin, Mikey Romero, and Refractors of Vetrano and Eli- Elijah Green. Once every other year you come down, this year you're heading to Seattle in July. Ooh, that's that's a good one. Just thinking of maybe trying to do Crater Lake in June, but I think we may push that trip a little bit now. That well, that would get me close to Seattle. We have another watermelon, and it's Christian Opera again. I think we had a watermelon Christian Opera last week too. This one is number five of one ninety nine. Do we have our uh, Christian Opera neighbor in the uh, in the break this time? Hunter Haas, Chris Clark, Cole Young. Is it Michael? The guy, the our Christian Opera guy. Hero Wyatt, Jay Bashir, Philip Abner, Refractors of Luis Almeida, and Colin Hauk. And another glass. This one is Tommy Troy trying to make that full set. This one, not gold though, just a regular Tommy Troy glass insert. Colin Hauk, two refractors on the board. Christian Opper. Haven't said his name any. I'm slow. Last week. week Opper last week and Colin Hauk the week before that. Going to do a lot of golfing when you're out there? That's That sounds beautiful. We have another green coming up here. The last green was a Jacob Wilson Bowman draft night insert. Let's see what we have on this one behind the key for Lord, Ethan O'Donnell, Jackson Churio, Nelson Rada, Jack Hurley. It is Travis Honeyman. Number 16 of 99, Travis Honeyman. Third rounder, 90th overall pick, Jacob Wilson, transformative talent, and refractors of Noble Meyer. And a double refractor pack for Honeyman. Travis Honeyman, green to ninety nine, a little little Christmas green on red on Easter. Washington and Canada in that area have some, I bet they have some beautiful courses. Blake Mitchell. We haven't said his name many times. He's a guy we usually hit plenty of, it seems like. We have an Emmett Olsen. Garrett Forrester. There he is. Blake Mitchell for the first time in Chrome. Samuel Zavala. Luis Guanipa. Another opera? No, Grant Taylor. I think that is Caroline's third hit. That is a teal wave numbered 26 of 125. Grant Taylor, Garrett Bauman, and Landon Mardo in a Jackson Holiday draft picks and prospects insert. So, if I remember correctly, that is three hits now for the leftover first slot going to Caroline. Two more autos left. Sky blue Dylan Campbell paper. That is 335 of 499 for the 136th pick. Charlie Soto chrome for the first time. Jackson Wiggins, How You Lee, Austin Trozer, Mac Horvath, and we did it. For the first time in, I'd say, at least a month and a half. Why Cruel Inc. Somebody messaged me and asked me when, tonight, actually, when the last time was that we hit Why Cruel Inc. And uh, the answer to that is now zero days since last Wyatt Langford Chrome, to quote the, uh, the great card talk. Zero days since last Wyatt, Cro- Wyatt Langford Inc. 
And we have a base auto of him tonight. Adding to our growing list of first rounders that we've hit in base autos. That's interesting that both of the autos came in this row. So we'll see what happens with that last one. We have also have a Wyatt Crowell and Kiefer Lord Refractor and Jacob Wilson Transformative Talent. Almost totally forgot about that with the Langford Base Auto. What a night. We have the first pick. No, no Clark. The fourth pick. The... 10th pick. I think Jacob Gonzalez was like the 15th pick or something like that. So a lot of lottery picks getting, getting ink tonight. Connor Burns, Wilbin Francisa, Carlson Reed, Connor Houck, Max Clark, Luis Almeida, Charlie Soto, Draft Night, Alex Ramirez, and Christian Campbell, Refractors. Didn't see Grant on the list I gave you. Uh, did I mess up? Let's see. Grant Taylor is – yeah, no, that's my bad. Grant Taylor must have been on it last week, not this week. So still, still two for you. Sorry for the confusion. So two base Chrome Max Clarks. Uh, guys, let me know if anybody else is having issues with lagging. Um, Hercules, try and refresh. Um, in almost all cases where I've had that issue in the past, um, it's only it's been isolated. And uh, once the person refreshed their stream, it was all good. I'll give I'll I'll hold this here for 10 seconds to give you uh, a chance to do that refresh. It's a little choppy. All right, I'll slow things down a little bit for the last few packs. Uh, anybody who's having issues with lag or choppiness, just try and refresh it. Hopefully that takes care of the issue. All right, I'm gonna start going through this pack. Hopefully everybody's stream is all right. We have a Joe Redfield, Hurston Waldrop. Uh, what did Grant Taylor hit? Grant Taylor hit uh, Teal Wave to 125. We have that Waldrop base, Chrome, Christian Vaccaro, Hans Montero, White Crowell, Sky Blue, Jerron Watts Brown with the kind of color match on the Blue Jays Uni. Austin Trozer and Jackson Wiggins. Refractors, three packs left. Let's see. Chris Ann's not too bad. Had to get go out of YouTube and go back in. Strange. The one other time that happened, it was when I was using our overlay and uh, OPS, and it seemed like that was causing some delays, but this time I'm straight out of YouTube. So never had that issue straight out of YouTube before, so... Hopefully uh, that is either fixed or fixes itself in the next couple of minutes as we finish off these last few packs. So I expected there were going to be autos here and here, but since the first two autos came out of this first row, let's see what we have here. We did get an extra auto in our first break of the night. Can we get an extra auto in both breaks tonight? It looks like there's purple in the auto spot here. I'm going to put that one down. Let's see if maybe we do have an extra auto. If Tops gave us an extra auto and it's a Wyatt Langford, that was pretty nice of them. Let's see. It looks like no auto in this one. Landon Mardo, Jacob Berry, Garrett Bauman, Cole Foster, Joe Vetrano, JT Nichols, TJ Nichols, Wyatt Langford draft picks and prospects, Chase Davis refractor, and Yoandre Vargas refractor. So, Best Chase Davis hit of the night. A few on the board for him, adding that one to it. Let's see. We have a purple auto, and is that going to be our last color auto of the night? It, we have a double purple auto. Let's do this. Since they're, since they're both even, skim through the papers, and we'll stack the two. 
No color in either of the paper packs. And what are we going to have here? Two purple cards coming up. Daryl saying your luck ran out with that. Uh, what's it called? Um, Judge Chisholm home run. All right. We have Anthony Gutierrez, Camilo Diaz, Cam Fisher. Dylan Head on the board for the first time. Roderick Arias. Let's see if this is ink. It is ink. Let's flip it to the back. Justin Crawford and Justin Reimer refractors. Colt Keith finally getting on the board. Not numbered, but we did sneak a Colt Keith on the board tonight. Weekend, weekend of his Major League debut. Jesus Baez, Teddy McGraw, Alex Clemmy, Carlos Jorge, Lucas Gordon, and this one is not ink, so we have a purple refractor of Ludwig as Pinoza, numbered 143 of 250. Welbin Francisa, Jack Hurley, refractors. Marcelo Meyer, transformative talent. And behind our Roderick Arias, our final hit of the night, purple ink for either a Ray or a Blue Jay. And it's, ooh, it's a double... Double auto night for Landon Mardo and a double purple auto night for Landon Mardo. That might be a first. Two purple autos of Landon Mardo in the same night. 242 of 250 on that one. We'll have to uh, put those two next to each other and check what the number is on the other one. So congrats, Mardo Spot, getting two purple autos in the same night. All in all, I would say one of our better draft breaks in a while with the number of quality ink hits that we got um, for anybody who's checking out before we do our recap. Um, we will be ripping the same break next Sunday, same time. Hope everybody uh, got a little extra Easter present with the, with these breaks tonight. I'm also going to be trying to um, migrate some stuff over in the next week or so onto a new breaking platform. We're going to continue continue to break on eBay, uh, not going any, anywhere there, but we're going to try and build a, an additional breaking platform where we run team breaks. Um, I'll be sending more information about that in the, in the coming weeks for those of you guys who are interested in our team breaks, especially the ones that we've been running out of Facebook. All right, starting the recap, we have a Tommy Troy, Colt Emerson, base chrome, Alberto Rios, sky blue paper, Jacob Wilson, Enrique Bradfield, base chrome, Ludwig Espinoza, purple refractor, Chase Davis refractor, Herson Waldrop, base, Jerron Watts Brown, sky blue chrome, Max Clark, base, Dylan Campbell, sky blue paper, Grant Taller, aqua wave, or teal wave, uh, Travis Honeyman, green, Noble Meyer Refractor, Christian Opera Watermelon. There's our other Landon Mardo. Let's take a look at both of those. Landon Mardo, double purple refractor autos, number 242 and 244. So how about that for randomization? Did those both come? I think one of those came out of the Super and one of those came out of the Jumbo, which I got from different, different locations. So they didn't even come from the same hobby shop. What are the odds of that? Very strange. Drew Hackenberg, sky blue chrome. Grayson Hit, sky blue chrome. Refractor of Louder. Tamar Johnson, fuchsia lunar crater. Gold glass hits for Nazan Zanatello and Johnny Farmello. Enrique Bradfield Jr., refractor. Jacob Wilson, green Bowman draft night. Lucas Gordon, blue refractor. Wyatt Langford base, Quinn McDaniel, sky blue paper, Jackson Holiday refractor, Baumeister teal wave auto, Skeens base, Enrique Bradfield Jr. and Rhett Louder refractors, Homer Bush watermelon paper, Max Clark base, Rainer Arias transformative talent refractor, Jackson Baumeister, another double hitter tonight with the base auto and the teal wave auto, Wyatt Langford base, Seth Keener, Fuchsia Lunar Crater, Refractors of Holiday and Colt Emerson, base Matt Shaw. Then going to our loaded lineup of autos in the back. Hunter Holland with the refractor auto numbered 139 of 499. 
Bryce Eldridge with the class of 2023 base auto. Jacob Gonzalez base auto. Johnny Farmello base auto. Noble Meyer base auto. Paul Skeens base auto. And Wyatt Langford double hits. Purple refractor and base auto of Wyatt Langford. Congrats to the Langford owner. I think it might be Phil, if I remember correctly. I don't know if Phil's in the break. I didn't see him say anything on either of those hits. So Phil might be uh, excited when he checks out this break later. All right, everybody. Thanks again for joining the breaks tonight. And we will be back tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. Next week, same time, same place. Hopefully we'll see everybody then. Have a good week.